Life City fam, what is up? It is Art and I about to go into Walmart Supercenter here in Skokie, Illinois on a really beautiful Chicago fall day. And I'm excited. I know Art is too because we haven't been to a big Supercenter in a while. Because in my neighborhood, we have the Walmart Neighborhood Market, but the Supercenters have so much more stuff. And I want to go in, see what's really good, what's bad, what's new, and what you should buy and avoid and always tell you why. So let's get in there and do our thing. Before we get rocking and rolling, like, subscribe, share, you guys. The only way this channel keeps growing the only way help we help you all put the best quality stuff in your body is by you spreading that flavor city love uh, also there's a bell icon below the video enable all notifications and the other day we enabled Flave City channel memberships. There's a join button below the video. You can join the Flave City family. Uh, you get uh, custom emojis and badges to use in the live chat, cooking demos, and all comments. It's super duper fun. So, okay, let's mask up. Let's go shopping at Walmart and see what we can find for good deals and really healthy stuff. Every time I come to this Walmart, I see more and more options in the nut butter section. And right in front of me, I see something I've never ever seen before at any grocery store. Check this out, Art. It's Walnut butter. Not only walnut, look at the face on that walnut. That's a punum, right? Crazy go nuts, plain walnut butter. Ingredients? Yes, please. Just walnuts and sea salt. What's the benefit of walnut butter? Well, loaded with omega 3s and antioxidants from California butter. Uh, California walnuts. $5.97, you guys, is not a bad price for nine ounces of this. I checked out the other ones. Uh, maple one is still good to go too because the ingredients are sweetened with maple syrup. It does have a little more maple syrup than I'd like to see. It's four grams, which is exactly one teaspoon per two tablespoon serving, but not bad. The other ones like the banana and the oatmeal cookie have cane sugar. So that's super cool. Not super cool is the oil going all over my fingers, luckily I have a rag. Um, also, if you're just wondering if you're gonna pick one nut butter or peanut butter here at Walmart of this whole wall, go for Crazy Richards. This is really clean because the ingredients are just peanuts. Peanuts and salt is all you wanna see here and I've never seen a cheaper price than $2.94. And unfortunately, if you look at the jams and jellies here, I would not recommend any because they're either made with a lot of sugar or really bad fake sugar. I have a jam and jelly review video we did a couple months ago. Watch that video when it's done. But walnut butter is on the scene. That's super duper cool. Okay, baking season has just begun and I see a no sugar, what's wrong? Baking season? Baking season, we're baking season. It's always baking. <laughs> It's colder weather to me equates baking season. Art says it's always baking season. Regardless, this is a brand new, no sugar added chocolate chip on the market that I've never seen before. Bake Believe dark chocolate. 55% is the minimum amount required to be called dark chocolate. But look at the ingredients. How is it no sugar added? Because they're using inulin and erythritol. I have to check if that's non-GMO erythritol. And I love the fact that they're using real vanilla extract and then some stevia. Check the macros out here. That's awesome. Four grams of net carbs per serving. This is just like Lily's. They don't have the regular Lily's here, but the thing that's not like Lily's is look at this art. It's $3.98 per package. That's amazing. Lily's are about $6. These are way cheaper and you can't even tell the difference. If you want to make keto desserts or even lower sugar desserts, use these kind of chocolate chips. They swap out the cane sugar, which usually has a lot in chocolate chips with sweeteners like stevia and erythritol, new players on the market. Has anyone seen this kind of stuff at your Walmart Supercenter? I'm seeing a ton of new stuff. It's like a total like gem find today. And then if we go down here, Arthur, this Walmart Supercenter has the most amazing fats and cooking oils. And every time I come here, I see a new one that blows my mind. So they actually have a Waldo. really good... Waldo. Waldo's on at six today. Oh yeah. All right, we got eyes going everywhere today. There was a Waldo employee over there. Thank you, Art. Uh, they have a good selection of extra virgin olive oil, but I implore you when this video is done, watch my video called you're buying fake extra virgin olive oil because a lot of the stuff on the store is not really real extra virgin olive oil. But here are two brands that are. The California Olive Ranch, 100% California EVOO. This could be a cooking or a finishing extra virgin olive oil. And these guys up here, Cobra Mistake, make a 100% California one too. That is actually a little cheaper than uh, California Olive Ranch. Stick with those, watch the video, you'll learn why. Going to other oils, talking about like plant-based or uh, animal-based, look at this. I've gotten a lot of questions about Cocavo, Props to the name, that's really cool. It's raw virgin cold pressed coconut oil and avocado oil. 
and the avocado is sourced from good places like New Zealand and California. So you get the best of both worlds with the flavor there. And it's 648, that's not bad at all. I think I've seen that at Target for a much more expensive, but here's what I love about the Supercenter. They have grass-fed tallow from beef. They have organic, non-GMO pork lard, and they have duck fat. Oh, look at this. It's a little expensive, but this stuff's great. I saw this and almost totally freaked out. Uh, duck fat in a non-aerosol, non-chemical spray here. Unfortunately, they put natural flavorings. To me, duck fat has all the natural flavor you want, so I can't recommend that. But they have a ton of other good stuff here, ranging from the good avocado oil here from Chosen Food. Not the fake stuff, this is the real stuff. And then has anyone seen this? I've never seen virgin, extra virgin sesame oil, meaning it's cold pressed before it's toasted like sesame oil. This could be a really nice uh, either finishing or a cooking oil. So I haven't seen a lot of these oils, even at places like Walmart, at uh, Whole Foods. Do you guys have this stuff once again at your Walmart? Please leave a comment down below because the cooking oil and fat game here at the Supercenter is next level. How did you pronounce this one here? I'd say Cocavo. Did it ever occur to you that maybe it should be pronounced a different way so that it could be sung like in a Beach Boys song? Well, though. There's an oil called <laughs> Cocavo. <laughs> Cocavo. Let's take a quick break from the Walmart shopping experience because my friends over at Laird Superfood dropped a brand new product and they wanted me to tell you about it. Uh, they recently came out with pumpkin spice coffee creamer. You guys sold it out. They recently came out with sprouted peely nuts. You guys sold it out. It won't be back until next month. But this week they launched InstaFuel Chai and it is the most tasty, clean, nutrient dense chai tea latte on the market. I'm hooked on this stuff. And you think of like chai tea latte from Starbucks or the coffee shop. The stuff in there is literally scary. We've done a Starbucks coffee review. I know it's loaded cane sugar, high fructose corn syrup, artificial flavors, the stuff you don't want. This is the kind of stuff you want in your body and the flavor is right. How do they do it? With next level ingredients. So it's super creamy from coconut milk powder. So it's dairy free. It's a little sweet from the coconut sugar, which is the paleo sweetener. And then the organic spices like ginger and cardamom are so warming and lovely. And then instant black tea and the black tea is tested for uh, pesticides and chemicals. And the rest of the ingredients are phenomenal. And because it has virgin coconut oil and coconut milk powder, it has natural MCTs, four of them, which are great for energy, which are great for your brain. This stuff is great. And because I drink tea during the weekdays and have um, coffee on the weekends, been having this every single day. I love it. On the weekends, I have my Insta Fuel, which if you haven't tried yet, this is the cleanest, best tasting instant coffee latte around. And because it just came out, I'm like, guys, can we do something special? They said, sure. 15% off for a limited time on their website. And I believe they have an extra 10% off if you sign up for their email list. My link is down below. Try the Insta Fuel Chai Latte. This stuff is the bomb, as is all their products. So check it out. And now we return back to Walmart and our regularly scheduled programming. This is something I've never seen at Walmart. Again, there's so many new products here. This is crazy. Look at this, you guys. It's an Indian style Lassie mango drink, but it's 100% grass fed and I believe it's whole milk too with 15 billion live probiotics in there. Oh my goodness. Let's see the uh, ingredients here. So we have organic pasteurized whole milk. So whole grass fed milk, uh, organic uh, Alfonso man uh, mangoes, a uh, little bit of cane sugar in there and live and active cultures. Let's see how much sugar. But to be honest, you got three grams of added sugar per eight ounces. Not terrible. So I typically don't like to have sugar in there because too much sugar can number one, kill the gut bacteria in your tummy and also will offset the live and active cultures in there. But three grams is three quarters of a tea teaspoon. Not ideal, but I'm gonna say it's okay for a semi-sweet treat that has a ton of bacteria in there. And the fact that it's organic and 100% grass-fed whole milk. Whole milk has all those great omega-3 fatty acids. At 398, that's pretty darn cool. And then if you look behind, all right, check this out. Please leave a comment down below. Does any of your Walmart super centers have pasture-raised eggs? Every Walmart I've ever been to does not have any pasture-raised eggs, and I'd love to start seeing some there because I bet Walmart have good prices. Please let us know in the comments section. Walmart, get some more pasture-raised eggs. That's the new thing, baby. All right, here's something brand new too. I gotta bring it over to Art because it's Waldo City over there. 
It's a low carb wrap alternative made of 100% cheese. This is cheese wraps that have a blend of Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. We look at other ingredients here. A natto is a seed used just for coloring and it's a mold inhibitor, that's fine. The only thing that could possibly make this better is if the dairy were organic or grass fed. That being said, it's such a unique item, it's still not bad. And keep in mind, cheeses like Colby and Monterey Jack are aged cheeses. What do I always say about aged cheeses? They're lactose free, they're eaten away, hum, 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 by the bacteria during the aging process. The price is right on these. Talk about low carb keto wrap for the win. All right, fam, there's a new player in the bean-based pasta here at Walmart. So Art and I always see this one here at uh, Walmart. It's Lensi red lentil pasta. And I love this kind of stuff because if you look at the ingredient, it's just one ingredient, red lentil flour. Why is that important? Because when you're eating pasta, I think you wanna eat nutrient uh, dense pasta, not made from grain. Bean pasta is loaded with fiber and protein, but you wanna get organic legumes because non-organic legumes like lentils score high in glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup. So I was super stoked to see this. This is brand new. This is Explore Cuisine Organic Red Lentil Penne. And it's funny because I checked the ingredients and it's lentils and brown rice flour. I'm okay with that because that's a complex carbohydrate on top of a complex carbohydrate. Whopping amounts of protein there good amounts of fiber. This is nutrient dense pasta, complex carbohydrates. But even more to my uh, amazement, they have this. Not something I would really eat too often, but this is technically keto pasta. It's black soybean spaghetti, organic, non-GMO. So check this out. Because of that, there's only eight net grams of carbs per serving, and it's made with organic black soybeans. You don't see this kind of stuff very often. Um, and once again, it is a complex carbohydrate, rich in fiber, even though it's organic non-GMO soy. Soy typically is higher in omega-6 fatty acids, which is more inflammatory. But if you want a keto pasta once in a while, this is what you want. It's pretty cool to have that for 43 cents an ounce or 344 for an eight ounce package. That's awesome stuff. The pasta game at Walmart's going up and up. This is amazing. This was not here last time I was here. The breakfast aisle has some really cool stuff going on. Check this out, Art. I haven't seen this at Walmart before, but this is for me the best quality Bobby approved oats on the market and they're from Purely Elizabeth. First of all, collagen protein oats with grass-fed collagen and super seeds. Sounds great, but you always gotta read the ingredients. And the ingredients for everything they make over at Elizabeth are fantastic. Organic, gluten-free oats. Uh, freeze-dried blueberries, grass-fed collagen, how's it sweetened with coconut sugar, uh, quinoa flakes, amaranth, real cinnamon. How much added sugar per serving? Only two grams of paleo sweetener per third cup. This is where it's at. This is so good. Um, very important when you get oats to be organic oats. I talked about this a lot. Non-organic oats score high in glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup. Every time I say that pertaining to oats or wheat, the farmers attack me on uh, Twitter, but it's true, okay? I'm sorry they don't like that, it's true. Uh, so you gotta get organic oats. And the price of this is fantastic, $4.98 here at uh, Walmart Supercenter. So get that one or the uh, vanilla pecan one, that's great. If we come over here, Art and I were just noticing, look at this. We love this name here. Trees Knees. I'm guessing like Bees Knees, but because maple syrup comes from trees, right? Spicy maple syrup, born in Brooklyn. Bushwick Kitchen. Uh, it's like a, what, a habanero? Ooh, habanero infused maple syrup. Art's going to make some uh, chicken and waffles. We'll try that out. Uh, this is my favorite uh, maple syrup on the market. Not this bottle here because it's too small, but a crown maple syrup not the vanilla infused, but the bourbon barrel aged one. That's really good quality uh, maple syrup. This one has organic vanilla. Now it's a little expensive here, $9.97 at Walmart. Wait till Costco has it. I hope, I pray they bring it back this season. A big bottle of uh, that company's bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. It's the best tasting maple syrup you'll ever have. I pour it over my uh, keto or paleo pancakes every weekend. And speaking of keto or paleo pancakes, you can always find these keto birch benders pancake mix here at uh, Walmart. They're not as good as the high key ones that I make from Amazon, but the ingredients are legit. Almond flour, tiger nuts are one of the highest uh, fat, lowest carb nuts in the world behind uh, peely nuts and really good quality ingredients and small amount of net carbs. So for that price, I would definitely scoop that. 
Uh, they don't have any good keto maple syrup here, but they all have natural flavors anyway. And then let's see what they have over here. Art right, with the bars and the uh, granola bars and stuff like that. Yep, another new find here at Walmart. Props to the name, look at this. The Bearded Brothers Radical Raspberry Lemon. I've never seen this product before, and I'm so glad I do because look at this. It's sweetened with figs and dates, uh, has sunflower, seed butter, hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are loaded with protein and iron omega-3s, real organic raspberries. Raspberries are on the uh, dirty dozen. Ch-ch-ch-chia seeds, lemon powder, sea salt, 18 grams of natural sugar in here, no added, so it's technically paleo. Very, very cool. How much is that? $5.94 for four bars. Not bad at all. Um, any of the Pure the Elizabeth bars here are fantastic. And then I, we got to give a shout out to Chicago's very own Simple Mills. I haven't tried these yet. If anyone's tried them, soft almond flour bars. I love what they do here. So it's made with almond and coconut flour, sweetened with honey, has uh, seeds in there, chocolate chips, and coconut oil. And we're talking about really clean ingredients. I wish the chocolate chips had coconut sugar, but we're talking about a trivial amount. Very, very clean stuff here. So wow, this is fantastic stuff. More new stuff at the Super Center. I see some interesting stuff in the uh, frozen breakfast department here. And this is something I've actually never, ever seen before. Check this out. Happy Food is a brand I've never heard of. And this sounds so intriguing. Sausage and rice cauliflower, hemp seed breakfast bowl. Looks great, sounds great. But we never trust the front of the package. We always read the ingredients and this is where things really start to get dicey. So, it starts out good, right? Cauliflower and hemp grits. I love the fact they're doing low carb, omega-3 rich hemp grits. And that part is good. But where it starts to get pretty hairy is the less than ingredients. So we have carrageenan, which is that uh, uh, inflammation inducing seaweed emulsifier. Mono and diglycerides are uh, preservatives derived from trans fatty acids. Polysorbate 80 is a nasty preservative. Uh, we keep going down here, GMO soybean oil, GMO food uh, starch, uh, a little bit of natural flavor there, and other ingredients. So now it doesn't work, but just judging by the front of the box, you might be super happy. The ingredients make me super sad. Uh, but they do have the Birch Benders Keto Waffles here. I've actually had them and they taste great. And it's one of the only keto waffles on the market. They do use high oleic and it is expeller pressed so, uh, sunflower oil. I emailed them. I wish that was like a coconut oil, but it's not a deal killer because we're saving all the carbs and sugar. And the rest of the ingredients here, let's see, they are really, really clean. And because there's only, what is that? 11 minus three, eight minus the sugar alcohol, six grams of net carbs. I'm okay with that oil in this case. And what's the price here, Art? That's a great price, 4.48 for six waffles, scoop that for sure. And then just in general for breakfast stuff, this is probably the healthiest, most nutrient dense English muffin on the market. It's my boys over at Ezekiel. They make the organic sprouted grain uh, English muffin here. And if you're gonna eat grains, this is what you want. Sprouted is easier to digest. The sprouting process unlocks enzymes and nutrients, and it's 100% organic, which is really important for grains. And $4.98 is not a bad price. Make your uh, eggs Benny on the weekend with that. That's what I'm talking about. All right, check this out. Here's something else I've never seen anywhere else, and it comes from Crazy Richard, the same guy who makes that peanut butter I like here. They're Holy Rollies frozen protein balls and the ingredients look pretty simple it's peanut butter gluten-free oats unfortunately it's not organic oats uh, dates and coconut and cacao nibs super duper clean uh, look at the ingredients here cinnamon oatmeal and peanut butter strawberry we have 10 balls for four dollars that's a great deal um, it's so close to being perfect because the oatmeal in here is gluten-free but it's non-organic what do we always say about non-organic oats they score high in glyphosate the active ingredient in the roundup so while it's not terrible it's not ideal it's still pretty darn good and this company crazy richards i never see them outside of walmart they make really good stuff for really good prices all right, we're in the gluten-free section and I see a cookie that's really, really high quality for a great price. So this is Emmy's Original Coconut Cookies. The thing is, it's more like a chewy kind of like 
snack than a cookie. I think the, the name's a little misleading. If you've had, you, you know what I'm talking about. The ingredients here, organic coconut, organic agave syrup, almond flour, coconut oil, real vanilla extract, real vanilla bean powder, and Himalayan pink salt. I don't love agave syrup, but we're talking how much? Nine grams of total sugar for two cookies here. That's not bad. That includes a uh, natural sugar in the, uh, in the coconut and the added sugar. Agave, a lot of people don't know, but agave nectar has the same amount of fructose as cane sugar. So it's not my preferred sweetener, but it's 394. I've seen this at Whole Foods for much more expensive, um, but it is soft and very chewy, not like a cookie. So it's a little misleading, but it's still Bobby approved. Um, and then if we go over to the vinegar aisle, I always see really interesting vinegars here that I really honestly don't see anywhere else. Um, and this is it right here. This is Vermont Village turmeric and honey apple cider vinegar with the raw unfiltered mother. That's the probiotic mother down there. And the ingredients are lovely. Look at that. That's all it is. And this is great because you take a shot of this in the morning or put this in a cup of water in the morning and it's a gut reset. It resets your gut for the day. It gets some probiotic uh, gut bacteria in your tummy. Really, really cool for $2.98. This can easily be double and it's probably something I would buy. So scoop that for sure. And then also down here, has anyone ever seen barrel aged maple vinegar, fermented maple sap from Vermont too? Wow, look at that, that's all it is. Organic maple vinegar, and this one's $6. Small batch, 2017, wow, uh, <coughs> 2017 vineyard here from Vermont. So Vermont, we're learning, has Bernie Sanders and a lot of maple and uh, vinegar aged products. So very cool. This is such an interesting ingredient that I rarely see at any grocery store. It's Japanese mayonnaise in this really soft, weird bottle with this baby on the front that's super crazy. Um, but people are addicted to the stuff. Here's the deal, and this is why I want you to avoid it. So it's mayonnaise made with GMO canola oil and highly processed GMO soybean oil. Uh, it has natural flavors in there, but this is what makes it so special monosodium glutamate okay that's msg so the reason why people swear by the sauce and they call it crave-worthy is because of the msg listen to me very carefully man-made msg like this is really bad for you natural msg found in parmesan cheese tomatoes and uh, mushrooms that's really good for you what msg does is it hijacks your taste buds in your brains it makes your taste bud really excited sends a message to your brain oh my god this is good i want more of it but it's really really bad for you in fact when Desi and I have any kind of MSG, uh, it makes my skin like really red, break out and have red blotches everywhere. Man-made MSG is to be avoided. Plus the GMO highly processed oils are incredibly bad for you and highly inflammatory. So as cute as that baby is there, and I don't even know why the baby is there, to be honest, uh, you're gonna have to put this one down. I want you to avoid this, not because of the MSG, but just because of that baby on the cover, that's just weird. <laughs> I can't come to Walmart without talking about the meat because the grass-fed meat game at Walmart is so next level with great prices. I would immediately come to this. This is one of the best grass-fed beefs you'll find at any store because it's 100% grass-fed and grass-finished 80-20 ground beef for $4.96 a price. That's actually cheaper than Aldi. And in case you're wondering, I know it doesn't say 100% grass-fed, but if you read on the back there, it clarifies it's grass-fed. And one thing that's always unique about the Walmart one is that it's 80-20. Most grocery store ones, including Aldi, are 85-15. You want more fat. More fat is more flavor, so that's great. And even though they're a bit low now, Walmart has some good cuts of meat that's grass-fed too. This is a strip steak, which is not a bad price at $13 a pound. But now that it's really getting cold out, this is what I would get. Get the beef chuck roast, and you can cube this up, and you can make chili out of it for $7.26 a pound for 100% grass-fed beef. This is great. And then I've never got it, but they do have 100% American lamb here. It's a bit cheap, a little bit, uh, it's a bit expensive actually, but I've never seen American lamb at uh, most grocery stores. So don't sleep on the uh, grass-fed beef here. It's really great. And that's what's so nice about Walmart. They're bringing healthy, uh, nutrient-rich, grass-fed beef to everyone at really good prices. It's better for you and it's better for the environment. It's a total win. Riddle me this, Batman. What is a damson? We've been wondering that the entire video. It's from England. We don't use this word here. Or at least I don't. And what did the ingredients say on the back? Well, maybe I'll explain it. We've got some sugar, 
and some damsons. <laughs> so we need an answer for that. So uh, that's the video, you guys. Uh, please leave a comment down below if you know what damson is. It sounds like a British thing, uh, but that's what's happening right now at Walmart Supercenter. The good, the bad, the ugly, and wow, they have some really great stuff. So if you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment down below. Uh, channel memberships, like I said, are live. Join the channel. We have some really cool options and emojis. Uh, like, subscribe, share. The only way our channel keeps growing is by you spreading that Flav City love with your family and friends. But well, we got two more videos below us right now. Art and I leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Man, love and peace. Later.